excuse me, excuse me, about projected presences, you know, that's what I like so much about you, because you just do it, and I've studied for it for 20 and something years. Mm. I do a lot of acting and a lot of singing and dancing and um, up to three days I've been doing a lot of smoking as well and it really ruined my cheeks so I've decided that I really 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 am going to quit so I was in the program I am in the program and I haven't been smoking for three days and at first I was like exorcist screaming kicking cursing and everything and now some kind of peace has come over me like I really know that I am going to not be a smoker again and um, I met an old acquaintance in the supermarket today very sweet man and I told him and his wife said like oh that's so good and I did that too and it's years ago but your skin becomes so beautiful and uh, oh I can already see it and blah blah very sweet people and he said so you want to live and the, the look he gave me wasn't just um, implying you no know, quitting smoking it was more like after all these years and after all you've done to yourself you want to live and I know that so well I've had so many friends family I even had a relationship with a man once who used to tell me that every day in the, in the end of the relationship when he knew that I was going to leave him and he had to keep me down can't keep a good bitch down he used to tell me every day that my transition was going to cost me 30 years of my life the loss of the vital organs and was going to drive me insane in the end and the estrogen would give me cancer anyway and it really makes you want to defend yourself and it was so funny because in the supermarket today I realized that that's not the thing no, I could have said a few years ago I would have said yes but it's because of my birth defect you know that I had all these operations and that I'm taking these horrible medication it's it's not my fault not my business not my decision it's just how I was born and as a very little child I used to have this feeling that I still have in some way like that there's some kind of a consciousness that ends here 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 I am woman this whole part is woman and the rest is not and that's so strange that really makes you feel like it's not your fault but I also always have the feeling that I really did it I did it. I said at a certain moment, I am going to do this. And now I have a very sweet and dear friend who always 
says very beautiful things and and thinks deep and feels deep and her name is Luz by Luz and she says that it's not true you don't choose and someone else that I loved very much who is dead my old singing teacher he used to say that you're designed to follow your character. There's nothing else you can do. He was a Schopenhauer fan. But in the supermarket today, I s kind of exploded in his face and he said, Oh, I've touched a nerve. And I went on like, What makes you think that I don't want to live? Well, of course I want to live, of course I want to die, don't we all? I mean, we don't every day wake up with the feeling like life is so wonderful and I want to live. It's... I had that today. I woke up and I wanted to really live because I dreamt that there were computers and you could turn them on and on them were channels of wonderful people people that were so interesting and so colorful and so deep that I would have wanted to check them out completely in that dream and then upon waking it dawned on me that that there were these happy channels, the Paula loves it channel and the unmeasured instances channel. And so here's my here's my second. And it's late, so I don't know how coherent I am with supermarket tales, but. You wrote such a sweet comment that I thought I don't know what to write back now. Just take the camera and say something. And this supermarket scene, it touched a nerve. Oops, is what people say then. Hmm. Just. Just teasing. Oh well, but it's an interesting subject. Always. Bye bye, Sarah. I'm so glad that we finally met here on the tube. And greet Ellen from me.